It's eight past seven. Good evening. Look, I'm still buzzing from streaming from Steve Ann yesterday, but I do have a little suggestion. Um, maybe if you're trying to do what I've been doing in your IRL content, uh, that is pump out a stream from OBS into a live view solo through the HDMI output of your computer. If you're trying to do that, here's a little tip that I've See, I've been watching back my stream and I noticed there was a little bit of jaggedness, like the if there was fast fast moving action, it would kind of like jitter a little. And now, by, by the way, I haven't actually tested this yet, but I've made the change. What you need to make certain of is that your display, whatever is showing, whatever you're showing the stream on, hang on, whatever you're creating the stream on, so in my case, a laptop, that's displaying the screen. Don't forget, we're not using OBS to stream. We're just using OBS to compile everything. And then we're sending the signal from OBS or from your computer out via full screen projector mode down the HDMI tunnel into the Live View Solo. Now, what you have to make sure, and this is what I didn't do, you need to make certain the refresh rate of your monitor where OBS is matches the refresh rate or the receiving rate that the uh, Live View Solo is receiving. So my Live View Solo was receiving 1080p 60 hertz, not frames, 60 hertz, that's the refresh rate. But my monitor, where my laptop is, was actually broadcasting 1080p 59.97 hertz. Now you might say, well, dude, that's nothing, but that's enough to every second remove enough frames to cause jitter. So I think, like I said, I haven't actually tried this yet. I haven't put this into practice, but that's what I understand was, that's technically the reason. And I'm, I'll am i find out this weekend when we do a DLive streaming from Steve Ann using the exact same setup. But um, I wanted to give it out there just in case anyone else kind of stumbled upon this and thought, why is my, why is my stream jittery when I'm doing 1080p, uh, 1080p 60, right? It should be smooth. Well, that's the reason. Um, so your OBS doesn't make a difference. If you change the internal settings to 4K 120 or 720 15, it won't make a difference because it's the refresh rate of your monitor, not the frame rate in OBS. But mind you, you'd want to make certain you have a, a, a decent frame rate because otherwise OBS will be generating a choppy visual. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm speaking this off the cuff, having not tried it yet. But I will report back, or you'll see if we've nailed that down on the next stream. That everything will be fine. I wanted to document this daily vlog style. That was the point of this. Now, where is my water? Oh, it's empty, isn't it? Crikey! Hold on a sec. I'm gonna fill that up. Yeah, I'm gonna fill that up. Let me get this in here. Let's get some light up in here. I've earned this glass of water. Haven't I? I've earned this glass of water today. I've earned this glass. I've earned this glass of water. Mm. Tomorrow on the stream, Jack Daniels opening. We're going to open this Jack, folks. We're opening this up on the stream tomorrow. Yeah, right there. Get in me. Get in me. And then we have to reset the Jack behind me to another bottle. And what do you think it's going to be? Well, you have to wait and see. It's going to be a special bottle, though. They're always special, right? This is a special 